Hey guys, what's up? This is a long lost knife in my collection. Um, it's one of those folders that I thought I did a video, uh, but actually I never done it. And I have been checking my collection uh, lately, and I just found out that I have not done a video on this great folder. Um, and I'm sorry. This is a knife that came from Mr. Tersula. Bob Terzola and uh, he's one of my uh, most loved knife maker okay I'll do a video in the future for my top three uh, most respected knife makers in the future if I remember um, this knife is the Persian style folder uh, from him and uh, this is one of the models that he doesn't do very often uh, probably only uh, he only does it for show and uh, gatherings but um, I don't see this type of folder uh, for sale in the aftermarket at all okay so it's really really uh, rare the blade um, CPM 154 and has been really really well uh, be blasted this one does not have the groove or the fuller, but it has a very classic look. Um, it's a Persian folder, but really classy style, really slim and elegant. Uh, long strip up, so it's really good. It's a really nice, um, you know, I wouldn't say uh, stabber, but uh, it's one of those knives that you can do a lot of damage. And at the at the same time, it's really uh, EDC friendly also. Okay, um, that's a uh, Tesla's logo. I'm gonna say it. And the thumb disc with Tesla's name on top of it. I love the the disc. I don't know if you can you have noticed, but uh, the edge that's the original edge from uh, Mr. T. It's really shiny. Okay, it's just kind of like uh, those uh, scary, sharp type edge. It's really shiny. Uh, a really good contrast with the uh, blasted uh, surface of the knife. The bolster here is Chad's uh, Mokotai. And I believe this is a anodized uh, color which is a uh, light bronze the entire knife has this uh, light bronze uh, theme uh, it's really a uh, expensive look but it's not like a gold uh, shiny uh, type of look uh, it's really classy and uh, sophisticated the pivot has been uh, light bronzed also on both sides to match the mogotai and this is a really thick piece of Makotai. Um, for the bolster, this is really thick. Usually people only use like what? Uh, half the size for a bolster. So uh, Mr. T is not really stingy on using his materials. Liner lock, both sides are uh, made out of uh, titanium. It's been uh, textured can see and also uh, light bronze analyzed with a little bit of jimping tiny jimping here so uh, you can open the knife uh, easier okay this ivory I'm not sure uh, <coughs> what type of uh, ivory they are uh, I assume is a mammoth it's really cool. I love ma uh, natural materials because they they always look different and they always give you a surprise. And uh, you cannot find uh, two exact same knife with the exact same uh, natural material. It's just kind of uh, impossible or improbable. The screws you see here has also been light bronze analyzed. 
okay and these are also two really thick piece of uh, ivory the feel is just so uh, so nice it's just kind of like a glass as you can also see it's just like high polishing it's kind of like glass and feels really nice the back spacer is also made out of the ivory and I, I really love these uh, creamy um, brownish color looks tasty actually the clip this long elegant clip without the screw it's inter internal it has been uh, sculptured also and light bronze analyzed with the Mr. Tersual as the last name here the knife has a really beefy uh, feel in the hand uh, because the blade is not really uh, wide and uh, and the handle is really uh, it's kind of like really pretty chunky it feels really good you know this this is a really fast knife fast knife um, and feels really really smooth uh, perfect centering uh, the action on this one is really smooth I don't like the free falling type of uh, blade on this one you get a lot of uh, control because you know where the blade goes when you open it, uh, it you know it's it's always the same smoothness opening always the same smoothness uh, closing and uh, you see that detent is perfect detent sucks the blade right in okay that's really good um, feels really good in the hand um, in any type of a, a grip follow grip reverse grip there's not a lot of groove as you can see on the handle so uh, that's good because um, on any type of grip it just 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 um, it will fit most hand and the, the little curve up here you see here uh, will hold your finger a little bit so uh, the knife will not uh, slip really solid build up really big uh, stop in here the knife is just being it's been made a right uh, everything on this knife is just uh, perfection um, the use of materials uh, the design the fit and finish uh, it's flawless there's nothing bad you can say about this knife okay so if you get a chance as I always say uh, to meet Mr. Tersola in the show you have to go early though uh, his knife get, tends to get sold like within I don't know minutes uh, so you really have to go there really early and the uh, fondle at least play uh, with some of his knife uh, you will know what I'm saying uh, when you see a uh, master uh, made piece okay it's just so good that uh, you know you hold it in your hand and you don't want to let go that's it um, the the meeting of the materials here bolster is just being made really tight really good everything good on this one uh, thank you for watching guys uh, see you again bye